basically my writing style, style became just a little more brutal. See through the crop for season, regain the faith you hide. You're just a slave or victim, another machine is so More honest with myself. How's it sounding? Really good. Um, I didn't hold back at all. I said whatever was on my mind. Um, I thought a lot about the lyrics. I thought about, you know, opening up my vocal style a little more. You want lows? I'll give you fucking lows. Bringing the lows out real low. You know, high screams out real high. <laughs> Just being a little more diverse. <laughs> Pat's cool, I guess. <laughs> uh, Pat's actually a really tight bass player, and he always records standing up like he's playing a live show. Juice was awesome. He was exactly what I was looking for in a producer. I think exactly what we were kind of looking for. Because um, he pushed us. There would be times like he would like, push us so much where it's like I, I was like, you know what, this, I, I like this word is what I'm playing right now. And he'd just be like, stop. I'm like, fuck! No! You could do it better. You could do it this way. And I'm like, well, I kind of like this. Like, no, what the fuck, man? We fucking get it right. There's a lot of fucks going around. Um, so and I like that, he pushed me and stuff, and I mean, and then you get like a more aggression, and then like in the end of the day, he, he was right, like it, it, felt, it felt good, and I like that push that he gave us. At the same time of that, there was also so many other parts on the record uh, recording where it was, um, you'd go through and I'd be like, you know, like, just play through it, and he'd be like, yep, yeah, cool, man, that's awesome, I love it, like first take or whatever, like the first thing, he's like, dude, what do you think of this? He'd be like, fucking love it, awesome, put it down, it's done. So like he was so cool and stuff like that. At the same time, like when it needed to be, he really pushed us. Really good, wicked. Uh. Uh, gear, I used a F bass. Uh, made in Hamilton by John. Actually worked on the bass too. Uh, so hell yeah, I'm keeping it in the family. And a chord <laughs> and a sans amp. Those three things. Oh, and I guess my hands. A pick. Um, uh, my ears, because I guess I gotta listen back to things. My eyes to see what I'm doing. So. How am I gonna do the noise? You put your hands like five. I'll do one hand. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Most important question was what beer did I use? I used Bud. A lot of Budweiser, because uh, it's the cheapest stuff I can find. Well, I mean, there are cheaper beers down in the States. American whiskey. It's America. It's, a, it's, it's a from weed. America. It's a wheat beer. That's why I like But I mean, Bud is still, you know, it's cheap, but it's decent tasting, not like your shitty Keystone. I fucking hate that shit. Don't ever give me Keystone. Um, they got a few Sam Adams a couple times, you know, Sam Adams is always good, you know. Prefer to be a Samuel Jackson, but, you know, I'll settle for Sam Adams. I feel this record is by far our strongest release so far. It's our heaviest and darkest sounding record. Um, 
it's just exactly what we wanted to write before stepping into it. Um, we said, okay, let's, we want to be really heavy, really dark, we'll just kick ass, you know, just, you know, kill it. And we did. Exactly.